form would be trumped by his final transformation, Super Saiyan 4. This form alters his body to better endure the 4,000 times power increase. <laughs> okay. Although Dragon Ball GT has a really negative stigma surrounding it, a thing that people might actually enjoy about it, albeit not the series, are the concepts and the forms. And one of those is none other than Super Saiyan 4. Is this iconic and badass looking transformation truly only 10 times of Super Saiyan 3? Well guys, sit back, relax, and let's dive in into how powerful and insane the multiplier for Super Saiyan 4 really is. Unfortunately, a big problem within the Dragon Ball community is how there's a lot of misinformation that can be spread. And a big one is concerning Golden Uzaru and Super Saiyan 4. People might say, hey, Super Saiyan 4 is 10 times Super Saiyan 3. Uh, what is your proof of that? Uh, well, I saw it in this wiki once. Or with Golden Uzaru, they're like, oh, it's a Super Saiyan Grade 8 that automatically must mean it is 500 times base, right? And it is understandable at times because the series can make it vague and the guides that could be released are probably in another language and many people might not even know about it. And that is why the El Manga Legendario, which is a Spanish guide, actually gave us more information regarding the multiplier. And to this day, we're still finding more guides, so who knows what else could be out there. But guys, guys, this is the best part, okay? Dragon Ball Super has amazing writing because they always give us the multipliers, they give us a numerical va- Get the fuck out of here. They never do that, okay? So that is why the community usually relies on a lot of headcanon, or they might not even have the time to look into it. But shockingly enough, however, there is a lot of information not only within the series of GT, but also guides, Q and A's, interviews, stuff like that, that can give us a much better gauge on the multiplier of this form. The really funny part is some people were claiming that Seth was like making it up even though we were using like the guy from El Manga Legendaria, which is a Spanish guy that's officially licensed by one of the companies that works for Akira Toriyama. And this guide confirms to us that Super Saiyan Grade 3, or Ultra Super Saiyan, the form that he uses against a Cell, Trunks in this case, was at least 10 times more powerful. Now, whether this means Super Saiyan Grade 2 or Super Saiyan Grade 1, it'll still be at least 10 times above that, and Full Power Super Saiyan was stronger than that. For some reason, people still believe that full power Super Saiyan is still the same, it is just less stamina draining, which is true, but it is clearly much more powerful, because even at half power, he still shocked Trunks and Vegeta, and that is not even mentioning that Goku and Gohan had way less training than Vegeta and Trunks. And I mean, even if you don't want to accept that this form is more powerful than Grade 3, it would still be at least 500 times base if not much higher. And another objection people have is, well, the super exciting guide says Super Saiyan 2 is times 2 of 50 times. There are also four Super Saiyan grades, Grade 1, which Goku used against Frieza. There are grades 2 and 3, which Vegeta and Trunks used against Cell, and they got bukkake <laughs> by. There's also grades 4, which Goku and Gohan used when they fought against Cell, and they perform a lot better. So, as you can see, Super Saiyan 2 is actually times 2 of grade 4, meaning it would be 1,000 times base, and Super Saiyan 3 would be 4,000 times base, if not higher. Moving on, there's a lot of information in the series and in guides that can give us a really good idea of how powerful Super Saiyan 4 is. So, according to the GT Perfect Files, it says that instead of his hair becoming golden, Baby's hair actually turns silverish when he turns into a Super Saiyan. Meaning that quote unquote base Baby Vegeta is actually in a Super Saiyan 1 state. So yeah, Baby was the first one to turn into a Super Saiyan Blanco. Then, Super Baby 1, which is my favorite looking form of his by the way, was Baby's Super Saiyan 2 state. And shockingly enough, Super Baby 2 is actually resembling Super Saiyan 3 as the guide itself even confirms. Now what does this mean? Well, Super Saiyan 3 Goku got completely shit on by 
uh, Super Saiyan Baby Vegeta. And then once Goku obtained Golden Great Ape, he actually made Baby too scared. He was like, okay, I'm not dealing with this. This guy has amazing power. Meaning that if Super Baby 2 got like an 8 times boost if we implied a Super Saiyan 3. That means that Golden Great Ape would have given Goku an 8 to 10 times boost on top of Super Saiyan 3. So yeah, Golden Great Ape is not 500 times base. It is actually more like, hey, 40,000 times base. Now, the question does arise though. What is the multiplier for Super Saiyan 4? But before we go into that, we need to answer a couple misconceptions and you know go over them so one in the GT perfect files guide it says that baby once he turned into a golden Uzaru he was bathed in 1000 times the normal blood wave amount and I've seen some people say oh that means a thousand times multiplier when it is never implied that blood wave radiation or intensity correlated in any way to power now another misconception is that according to the GT DVD guide it implies that apparently Super Saiyan 4 has the same level of power as the Golden Great Ape. Which makes no sense for many reasons because for one, Pan and other characters who had sensed Golden Great Ape and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they were like shocked at his level of power, his appearance. And I mean, Pan was the main reason Golden Great Ape snapped out of it because she was like, Hey Grandpa, snap out of it. Like, well, what are you doing, bro? Stop going ape shit. And she was even like, you know, like, Grandpa's incredibly powerful as a Super Saiyan 4. And on top of that, Super Baby 2 was like getting bullied by Super Saiyan 4 Goku even without trying. I mean, he was even taking punches from him. And Elder Kai was like, look, pay attention. He's not even using like a smidgen of his full power. And he was still like, you know, shitting on him. And on top of that, if they were the same multiplier, then Golden Great Ape would have been able to just completely dominate Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the first battle. But it was somewhat close at the start, and then at the end, that is when Goku was able to overpower him. And on top of that, the perfect file says that uh, Golden Great Ape Baby had strength on par with that of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And as I mentioned, Super Saiyan 4 Goku was able to toy with Super Baby 2 even while not even using like anywhere near his full power. So going by the guides and the series statements, it would make a lot more sense that Super Saiyan 4 is actually beyond that of Golden Great Ape. Now there is another interesting concept in the series and that is because of full powered Super Saiyan 4. Now this can either mean two things, one, Goku just obtained his uh, full power again, or two, he obtained like a Super Saiyan Grade 4 equivalent to that of Super Saiyan 4. It is really vague, but it more than likely means that Goku just regained his full power and obtained better control of the form. And this is mostly because after Goku and Baby get knocked out after parting hard in the club or something, Baby gets hit by blood waves, which actually regains his full power as the narrator himself even says. Oh look, Baby regained his full power, he's back to full strength. So it doesn't imply that him or Goku got any more powerful. You could argue better control of the form, and there is that reddish aura that Goku obtains, but other than that, it really isn't much to imply that they got any more powerful. But that concept does appear later on in the Shadow Dragon arc. So after Goku faces off against the Mole Dragon, an Ocean Dragon that gets hurt by seagulls and other amazing stuff like that, he finally encounters Sin Shenron, who he states alongside the narrator that he's like the most powerful guy they've met up till now. And this is made pretty apparent because even after Goku obtains several training boosts from the Baby Saga and possibly Zenkai's, Sin Shenron literally tanks the 10 times Kamehameha from Goku without a single scratch on him. And Shenron bullies Goku so hard that he is not only pushed to go beyond full power, but to obtain something known as Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4. Now it isn't really clear if this is like a temporary power up or a brand new grade for Super Saiyan 4, but it is very clear that Goku got a lot more powerful because even while holding back he was able to casually just like finesse Shenron's attacks and could even damage him. And he made Sin Shenron so desperate that he had to obtain the Dragon Balls and become Omega Shenron. 
So if he was holding back and able to damage someone who formerly could tank his 10 times Kamehameha, it can be implied that Goku got at least 10 times more powerful than before. So Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku would give him a 4 million times multiplier on top of base form. Once Omega Shenron absorbs, or uh, in this case swallows the Dragon Balls, he becomes 10 times more powerful than before. However, this did not stop Goku from punching a hole through him with the Dragon Fist, meaning that Goku is able to damage someone who's more than 10 times more powerful than him using the Dragon Fist, which could give him an attack potency that is 40 million times out of base form. So, in conclusion, it is very clear that Super Saiyan 4 is not 4,000 times base, but that it can be anywhere from 400,000 to over 40 million times that of base form. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks to Seth for having me on here, and I'll catch you thoughties next time. Peace out.